Hi everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. We are making some apple fritters this morning. Yeah buddy. That's how I got my husband out of bed. <laughs> that and I'm going to use him to make apple fritters this morning. It always puts me to work. These are crispy, homemade, easy, fast apple fritters. We are not going to be making any rise dough today, okay? It's going to be really easy to put together. Now, you want some delicious apples, and we're going to go over those here in just a second. So, if you're ready, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm hungry. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to show you everything you're going to need, and then put these together for you. So, you're going to need some all-purpose flour. We've got white granulated sugar, powdered sugar. We've got lemon. Lemon squeeze. We got some coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just Good kidding. Stuff. What's that doing there? <laughs> Can't put it there. Okay, that <laughs> the coffee you can drink while you're eating apple fritters. <laughs> We've got some baking powder. We've got apples. Now you only need about two to three apples. It just depends on how many apples you want in your apple fritters. Now we've got some honey crisp apples, which we're going to use. You need about two to three apples. These are really small apples, and then I have just a medium apple here. So we're gonna see how many of these we need. Or if you like, you can use Granny Smith apples. Uh. Now we have these in the house because my daughter loves Granny Smith apples. My husband loves the honey crisp. So we always have those in there. I picked this one out. Yep some vanilla extract then we got some cinnamon some ground ginger some ground nutmeg for those fall flavors that we're going to put in these apple fritters got a little bit of salt we got two eggs and we got some milk right here and we got some cooking oil all right let's start our first step gee wonder what that's gonna be so. First thing we're going to do is peel our apples. Now you can use a peeler or you can use a paring knife or if you have a fancy dancy apple peeler core and dicer, <laughs> you can use that. So you just want to go ahead and get those ready. All right, I'm just going to be using the knife here. And she's going to lose a lot of apple. <laughs> The next step is we're just going to take our apple slicer here and just push it through the apple. That way it will cut out wiggle, wiggle. the apple core. Sounds like a military thing. Apple core. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that smells so good. In case y'all didn't know, I'm an apple fanatic. There you go. <laughs> See you later. All right, I'm gonna move these over. <laughs> he left. All right, I'm gonna bring over my apple dicer. Actually, it's just a, a vegetable dicer. I'm back. And I'm using the large dice blade right here. It comes with a lot of different blades. You can either hand chop these or you can use a chopper, which we're gonna use. That's so cool. Let me do. Oh, you want to play with it? I want to play with it. <laughs> well, let me put these in there. That's why I did an extra apple. All right, as you can see, all of our apples are nice and diced. Except for these. And these are all about the same size, and that's what you're looking for. So what we're going to do is place our diced apples into a medium bowl. Now to keep our apples from browning while we're working on our batter, we're going to just cut one lemon in half. If you roll your lemon on the countertop, it will loosen up the juices. And we're just going to squeeze it all over the apples. Definitely lemony. And then we're just going to take I'll trade you. a spatula or a wooden spoon and just kind of give that a mix to coat the apples. And then we're going to move this aside and work on the batter. In a large bowl, we're going to go ahead and crack two eggs into it. Now 
I'm going to take a whisk and we're going to beat those two eggs up until they're nice and frothy. I'm going to do it for about 30 seconds. That way we don't have to bring out the electric hand mixer and go through all of that. This will easily do it. We're going to go ahead, while he's still whisking, you want to add in one third cup of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mmm. That always smells good. Oh yeah. All right, once we get this mixed in, we're going to set this aside. To a medium bowl, we're going to add our flour. Now I'm using an all-purpose flour. We're going to add one and a quarter cups. And I'm just lightly putting it into the spoon here. This is half a cup. That'd be a good cereal eating spoon there. <laughs> Right? I'll give him this one here. This is a quarter. Yeah, that probably worked better. Yeah. We're going to add a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. Now we have some spices and other little dry ingredients right here. So we have two teaspoons of baking powder. You can put that. Uh, yep, there we go. We have one teaspoon of ground cinnamon quarter teaspoon of salt and then we have some nutmeg and ginger and I put about an eighth of a teaspoon of each Nutmeg. into our little bowl right there so he's just going to take that and pour it into our dry mixture and then whisk it all up all right what we're going to do now is bring our wet ingredients back over here and we're going to slowly add in the dry ingredients while whisking it together okay I'm going to shake some in Shake some in. All right, once we get this all incorporated, we're going to drop in the apple pieces, and then we're just going to mix that together with a wooden spoon or a spatula. All right, I'm going to start adding the apples, and Thomas is going to mix them. Just eyeball it. If you feel like you have too many apples, you can stop at a certain point with your apples. Right. If you feel like you want more apples, then you can chop up another apple for it. But I think that's looking really good. Yep. I think so. You can just put a fork in that bowl. Yeah. He'll finish them off. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start getting our oil ready to start frying up our apple fritters. You're going to need a large deep dish skillet and about four to five cups of some cooking oil, either like vegetable oil or canola oil. And we're going to start heating that up to a 350 degrees, which is a medium high on your burner. cups. All right, our oil should be almost heated up. We have it on a 350. Now you can check by using a thermometer like this right here. And when it gets to 350, then you know you have a good temperature, which we're almost there. You can also take the back end of a wooden spoon, and I just put a little batter back there, and then you can Put it into the oil on the bottom there, and if it starts sizzling like this right here, then your oil is good to go. What we're going to use is a measuring cup. Now you want to use about a third measuring cup or a quarter measuring cup, and then scoop some of the batter into it, because we want to keep these all around the same size so that they cook evenly. So we're going to fill up the scoop, and then we're just going to very carefully Take a knife or a spoon and carefully just drop it in there as one little bundle like that. Now we're not going to overcrowd the pan so we're going to put like two more in here and let those go. Now each one should cook about two minutes on each side. Now 
just keep an eye on these. When they get nice and golden brown on one side, you want to flip it over and get it nice and golden brown on the other side. Now we have a wire rack ready to go. I just laid this on a sheet pan that has some foil underneath of it for some easy cleanup. You want to be able to put your apple fritters on here to drain and cool down completely before we start our next step. Oh, these look good, don't they? Yeah, they do. Very delicious. I think he's found his. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need to glaze these, but we need to wait until they cool down. And let me show you how we're going to do that. All right, Thomas went off to make some coffee because he's ready for these. We've cooled them off. It doesn't take very long to cool these off, okay? We're going to go ahead and make an icing for these apple fritters. It's really simple for my icing anyway. I've got one cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna add just a few tablespoons of milk to kind of get this started. And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just a little bit, we don't wanna overpower it. I'm just going to take my fork, give this a stir to blend it together. Now just take a look at your consistency. We want to pour it over them, so I'm looking at, yeah, that looks good. Okay, using my fork, I'm just going to take the glaze here and just drizzle it all over the apple fritters. You can also pour this onto a plate and then just take your apple fritters and you can dunk them in them, but I would thin out the glaze just a little bit to do that so you don't pull off half your apple fritter while you're doing that. But this is a really easy way to do it. What you wanna do is let the glaze just set here for just a few minutes. We're gonna go in. I think at this time my husband has his coffee ready. Are you ready? Oh yeah, coffee's ready. All right. All right, we're ready for some apple fritters. Yep. That's All right. good enough for me. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be there. All right, got your coffee? I got my coffee. Show everybody your coffee. Ah, my All coffee. Right. Iced, because it's still like a hundred down here. That's why we're eating apple fritters. <laughs> well, right. it's always hot in Texas, so you cook. You just cook. Look at this. Oh my gosh, golden brown. Got that delicious glaze on there. We're going to break one open. Mmm. Oh. Look at that. Nice and fluffy on the inside. Mm -hmm. But those apples are nice and tender. And juicy. Let's go in. Half. He only gets half. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Apple still got its texture. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Adds that sweetness. That's good. That's good. That's freaking good. The dough is so perfectly cooked. Thank you. It's fluffy, <laughs> kind of a light batter that we cooked up. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Mm. What do you think? I think it's a winner. He loves apple fritters from the donut shop. So, mm. these are much better. Their apples are really mushy. Mm -hmm. I like an apple pie. Where the apples still got a little bit of texture to it. Now, if you want your apples mushy, you need to dice up your apples even smaller than what we did. But the texture of the apple in there is so good. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Woo! That was easy to do. You saw how easy that was. Make sure you comment down below. Don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I do have over 800 of them out there for you to enjoy. Yep. Go check them out. Okay. We will see you on the next episode. Bye.